guys, it's Gabby. And this was the year where I finally knew what it felt like to feel confident, content, and strong. And for those of you who have been watching me for a while know that confidence was like such a hard thing for me to achieve. I worked hard as hell to have the confidence and body that I have today. But one thing I have not worked hard enough on yet is to strengthen the relationship I have with my sister. If you guys didn't see what happened a few days ago on Instagram, Nikki and I were from Nikki and Gabby, we're twins, and we got in our first public online feud. It was a little weird because it's your sister, but we fixed it, like today. We had the longest phone call ever. She's in LA, I'm here, we had the longest phone call ever. We fixed it, we let it go, but guess who doesn't let it go? The internet. And somewhere along the line in our little petty fight, it got out that I like to edit photos. So if you're a girl, you can't deny that when you take pictures with your friends and you wanna share them on Instagram, or you wanna achieve a certain aesthetic, or if you wanna look a certain way, you like to edit. Like I know so many girls who love to edit. If you guys didn't know the backstory of Nikki and I's stupid little sister fight, Nikki, was given photos by my photographer boyfriend. And there was like, you know when you have a photo shoot, there's like three photos you like literally hate of yourself. It happens to everyone. And then maybe there's like 50 you love and then like 20 that are just like whatever. Well, when we sent them to Nikki, I just asked her, like I always ask her, can you ask me for permission before posting one of these pictures of me? Because I didn't, I was scared she was gonna use one of the tragic pictures of me. 7 a.m. the next morning, I check Instagram, it's a Monday. I see she has posted the three actually, not just like one, like literally all three of like the three photos I like just strongly disliked. We fixed it, don't attack her, she's my sister. I love her so much. And even though we dropped the fight and we said sorry to each other, she said she should have asked me for permission. I shouldn't have brought anything online because I did by commenting on her photo. But even though we let it go and we're sisters, guess what? The internet doesn't let it go. And now it's out there that I like to edit photos. And guess what, my haters also are on the internet and so are my enemies. Haters don't let it go. And ever since our stupid little sister feud that we have now fixed, everything I'm posting, whether it's a swimsuit pic or a video, a swimsuit video, or a picture of my face, like a selfie, guess what, look, videos don't lie. This is my damn face. This is the same face you see on Instagram. Yeah. Anyways, the Photoshop accusations have not stopped. It has gotten so bad. It has gotten so unmotivating. I have worked so hard all year to get the body that I love and that I'm happy in. And now I feel totally discredited because, oh, so a secret got out that I like to edit photos, big whoop. Now, all of a sudden, every single picture isn't what I look like in videos? So, that leads us into today's video. I decided since nobody believes that this is what my body looks like, I'm gonna do an updated 50 facts about me in a swimsuit or a bikini. I'm going to do 50 facts about me, an updated version. As you know, seven years has gone by since my last one. And I'm gonna be wearing a swimsuit in front of you, okay? Cause it's not edited. I'm gonna be telling you all about myself now at this age, but also so you can like see, like literally if you want, you can like zoom in and stare at my body if you're that interested. And yeah, I have some wine and let's get started because I've definitely changed in the last seven or eight years. What, I was like, it was 2013 when I put up my last 50 facts about me and the girl has changed. So I just watched the entire playback of the intro and I just realized I was staring at the viewfinder the entire time, but guess what? Your girl has never made a video like this standing in a swimsuit in front of a bunch of people. Just FYI, I'm not drunk. Like I'm just starting to drink wine right now because I do at night every time before bed and it's getting towards bedtime. Yeah, I know a lot of people are probably gonna comment, is she drunk, but no. I just genuinely wanted to update you guys as a 24 year old adult, so. I wrote all my facts on my phone, so I'm just gonna like read them off for you guys. It's really hard to think about 50 facts on the spot, so they're all written out. Number one, I'm a Taurus. Number two, my favorite color is mint. I drink wine before bed. My favorite kind of food is sushi. Mm. I am on a keto diet. I hate fruit. I despise fruit. I try to force myself to eat fruit sometimes, when I try to be all bougie, but I freaking hate fruit. I also hate gum. I love mints. My favorite place in the world is Bermuda. I drunk drove on my way to class and hit a pole when I was 20 years old. I was bullied for wearing white to prom when I was in high school, but now I see it's okay to do it. Like everyone's wearing white to prom these days, but like in 2010, honey, when you were a sophomore going with a senior, wearing white to prom was like, <gasps> Does the bitch think she's getting married? Like, I, I literally got so much hate for it. I love running 
but I hate lifting. I'm a shopaholic. And you know what? Might as well, while I'm standing here, might as well tell you guys about my current card and make some coin. <laughs> okay, wow, I'm so annoying. So as you guys see in this closet, I love to shop. What current is a mobile bank account that comes with a Visa debit card. I have one and it's really beneficial when you guys are shopaholics like me. I use this all the time. You guys saw I used it last time on my luxury shopping spree, but it has no minimum balance no overdrafts, and no hidden fees. The black premium card gets you paid up to two days faster when you move your direct deposit to current. So if you normally get paid on a Friday, you now get paid on a Wednesday, which is actually really awesome because most paydays are Friday and everyone loves to shop on the weekends. So I remember that feeling of just being like, wow, I hope I get paid on Friday so I could go splurge on the weekend and then it transferring late on a Friday and not being able to splurge. Current gives you a bank account and a real debit card like I have without all the fees and requirements of old banks and sketchy prepaid cards. You can connect your current card to Venmo, Cash App. You can even get cash back at the register and you can deposit checks into your account just by using the camera on the app. The premium account has instant perks like automatically refunding that stupid hold that gas stations put on your pump. With your current card, you can send and receive money directly into your account for free. No more waiting for days or paying an extra fee to get your money quicker. The app notifies you when you spend, so you'll never end up in a situation I was in in the fall when my card was stolen by the bottle girl and she went on a shopping spree for $4,000, but let's not get into that. It helps you put away money and it helps you with savings pods, which is awesome. And if you see a charge that wasn't yours, you could automatically put a pause on the card through the app and there's a 24 7 chat so you'll never run into any issues current has bank accounts for teens if you're under 18 so current works with apple pay and google on your phone it only takes two minutes to sign up and your current card will be shipped to you for free so download current now back into the video but i'm gonna back up a little bit because i remember like there's multiple parts of my body that people accuse me of photoshopping <clears throat> where was i I have a best friend of 20 years and her name is Allie, you guys know her. My dog Lily, you guys always ask this, she's 14 years old. I try to stay positive through any situation. I try to just like see the light in everything. I have an anxiety disorder and it's really hard to manage. I self-harmed all of high school. That's why everyone always asks, that's why like there's those scars near the Lily tattoo. I actually put her there because like I just want to see that. I want to see my dog, someone I love so much, I'd rather see that instead of being reminded of all that. But hey, hang on and push through because it always gets better. Seriously. I had learning and reading problems and I was always needing like that extra help at school academically. I, and not to brag, I am an incredible writer and I take so much pride in writing. I'm so passionate about my pets too. Like I love them so much, the bunnies and Lily. I go to bed thinking about love and I wake up thinking about love. Is that cheesy? My idol is Ariana and my inspiration is Audrey Hepburn. I have Hashimoto's and PCOS, so I think that's why I take so much pride in like what I've done with myself. That's why I'm like so ticked off with everything that's going on right now. My favorite vodka is Tito's, hands down. It does the job so quick, and it's keto, so. My favorite store in the world is Love Shack Fancy. Oh, they just always have everything that I vibe with. I love it so much. My favorite perfume is Molecule from Barney's, and it's so funny, because every time I have a meet and greet and I meet someone, they're like, what perfume are you wearing? And I'm like, it's Molecule from Barney's. I love to sing Broadway songs. If you guys wanna know how I sing Broadway songs, look up my Speechless cover or my Blood Queen's Little Women. I sing Astonishing from Little Women, just like, it's on, it's out there. My favorite kind of date with Colin is anywhere we can run around and act like we're seven years old. I was cast as a huntsman in a fifth grade play. Like I, ha I was cast as a male role. My favorite season, and I know my little Christmas lovers are gonna hate me, but my favorite season of all time is Halloween. Always, or actually should I say, Gabbleween. <laughs> my favorite holiday, and please, oh my God, this is what this is actually one of the main reasons why I felt like I needed to do an updated 50 facts about me video because I have changed so much over the years through my experiences and unfortunately Christmas is no longer my favorite holiday like I love Gabmas so much like I love the aesthetic of Christmas but when you're a grown up like when you're my age and I'm sure all you 20 and plus people can vouch with me when you are adulting it is so expensive Christmas is so expensive and as you can see like I love to buy myself nice things and I put it out there everywhere so everyone knows the kind of money I have so everyone like expects such good presents from me. I made a whole vlog about this and I always feel bad giving someone something less than they think I can get them. And a lot of people, even family, are like, can you get me this Gucci bag or can you do this? And I'm like, oh, like, oh they're family, like I have to, but like, 
<sighs> you know, when they see you have money and they know you love them, it's just like kind of hard. I kind of feel like I have to buy nice things. So I love Christmas, but it's not my favorite holiday anymore. I love Christmas, don't get me wrong. I just love the aesthetic of it and like the activities around it, but the holiday itself is really stressful because you're like, forced to be around family you don't want to be around. I mean, I love my family to death, but you know, like extend, extended family. Um, you also, like, I don't know, like, it's just like so much money and it's just, it's just, it has to be like a certain schedule. But my favorite holiday, I'm sure you guys all already knew this. It was, you knew it was one of my favorite holidays, but this is officially my favorite holiday is Easter. Like, I live for Easter. I live for springtime. Springtime is my birthday. Springtime is like warm, but not too hot. And spring is just, it's, flowers and gardening and you know what I have two little Easter bunnies downstairs I have two bunnies for those of you who are new here I have two bunnies and they're the cutest things ever I love the concept Christmas and Easter were just always so fun for me and as an adult I think Easter is way more manageable and fun and lighthearted. your girl loves to dye Easter eggs and loves pastels and loves brunches and loves sundresses so mm -hmm, yeah and for those of you asking Gabster vlogs start in March I am obsessed with Tovlo music, obsessed. I'm friends with Ariana, oh, but I love her music so much. Oh my God, I'm still like a huge fan. It's like the weirdest feeling ever. I always listen to Seven Rings when I'm doing my makeup or getting glam or getting ready. I, I hate UTIs so much with a burning passion. I'll never be vegan, so <clears throat> stop trying to put that on me, guys. I will never be vegan. I, your girl loves cheese. I'm still Cuban and Italian. If you guys haven't watched my reality show, I think my sisters remind you of that 20%. My favorite feature is my eyes because they're big or now my nose. And okay, ironic because we're talking about this whole video was about Instagram comments. Someone said like on a forum, people were comparing like my nose throughout the year saying like, oh my God, it looks bigger. But what people don't understand, and you'll see that in like another vlog I have coming up, I just had my one year post-op um, appointment and I vlogged it. But my nose like was so tiny when I got the cast off and then slowly like got so swollen when the restriction of the cast came off. And it was like swollen all through summer, all through blood queens. And like as of the last two months, I saw it like go down back to what it looked like when I got my cast off. Yeah, it's, you'll hear all about that in that vlog, but I just wanted to say my favorite feature was my eyes and it kind of still is, but now it's my nose. Like I really love my nose and I'm super open about everything that I've done. So I'm like not trying to hide anything. And I hope you guys don't hate me for praising a nose job. I had a nose job a year ago. <laughs> I just started liking babies and kids this year like i used to always be like oh my god how do people have kids like i can never like that's like oh my god no no and then this year i was like oh my god wait babies are so cute and i used to only think toddlers were cute not babies and not kids so like just toddlers but now i'm starting to think babies are so cute and i think kids are really fun so my mindset changed on kids my favorite show ever is the bachelor my favorite candle is anything coconut anything beachy anything like that would smell like a beach house i signed with rock nation for my music that's coming out this year oh my god i can't believe i just said that i have an album coming out and i have a single coming out from that album this spring so yeah i guess i'll add a 51st fact i am going on tour this summer i've never just filmed videos on the spot like this but i did i'll let you get one more close look because i was pretty far but this is me and I hope you guys like this updated video. I'm gonna do more just like on the spot videos I feel like my life is too planned. Like I feel like my video uploads are too planned I just like love uploading on the spot and not having like a planned time or date or whatever So I'm gonna keep doing that more because I used to do that all the time All right, that's it for this video. I love you guys so much